Katie, would you pray for us this evening? Our precious Heavenly Father, Lord, I just thank you for this time that we can come together, Lord, and to learn more about you, Lord. I thank mm -hmm. you that that is a freedom that we have, Lord, and I'm yes, a great Jesus. state of a great place of America, Lord, and I just thank you for that. Mm -hmm. And Lord, I just pray that you'll just be with Pastor Scott as he reads the word, Lord, and that we will be receptive, Lord. Mm -hmm. And I just thank you for this in your precious and holy name. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Amen. Okay, who can summarize briefly what we looked at last week? It was a mess, that poor woman. It was a mess. Yes. Yeah. Okay, right? So and there was this. A mess. Right? Levite, who had a concubine. Yeah. You know how the story goes. Yeah. He goes, yeah. I mean, it's his fault yeah, it that she is yeah. killed as he willingly lets the owner of the house toss her out to the crowd of. Yeah. Bisexual men, actually. And then he calls for more. Yeah, yeah, and for then, more. then he. he, he Calls for war. He pretty much says, "This is all your fault." I mean, yeah. think about this, right? That's what he does by cutting her in twelve pieces and sending a piece of her to every tribe, the twelve tribes, and uh, with this note, um, pretty much, "You're to blame." You know, why don't you come help me take vengeance? Because you know this happened in in Israel, and somehow we're this should be all of our battle. Yeah. And uh, strangely enough. They all come. They yeah, okay. And they come together and what do they do? Kill each other. <laughs> who 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 do they who do they fight? Israelites. Israelites. Mm, a tribe of one Dan. tribe. One of the twelve oh, tribes in particular. The tribe of Benjamin. 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 Because they, this took place in uh, one of the territories allotted to the tribe of Benjamin. They killed all the men. <clears throat> hmm? They killed all the men. Killed mm -hmm. almost Except all the men. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Six hundred men are remaining. And they must have killed all the women too. Uh, yeah. They, they yeah. killed everybody. Yeah. And just the they did, yeah. And uh, so now there is this problem. Yeah. And um, we're going to read about it right here as we end chapter 21. And somebody please read the first seven verses. Come on, somebody. <laughs> now the men of Israel had stood sworn an oath <clears throat> at Mitzvah saying, None of us shall give his daughter to Benjamin as a wife. Then the people came to the house of God and remained there before God till evening. They lifted up their voices and wept bitterly and said, O Lord God of Israel, why has this come to pass in Israel, that today there should be one tribe missing in Israel? So it was on the next morning that the people rose early and built an altar there and offered burnt offerings and peace offerings. The children of Israel said, who is there among all the tribes of Israel who did not come up with the assembly to the Lord? For they had made a great oath concerning anyone who had not come up to the Lord at Mizpah, saying, He shall surely be put to death. And the children of Israel grieved for Benjamin, their brother, and said, One tribe is cut off from Israel today. What shall we do for wives for those who remain, seeing we have sworn by the Lord that we will not give them our daughters as wives? And they said, what is there from the tribes of Israel who did not come up to Mizpah to the Lord? And in fact, no one had come to the camp from Jabesh Gilead to the assembly. So, um, <clears throat> they have this belief that this blood guilt has now been removed, right? So vengeance has been uh, met out, and you know they they take the entire tribe of Benjamin uh, on, and uh, they pretty much almost make them go extinct. Six hundred males remained alive. Just think about that. So Benjamin is in danger of being extinct because eleven tribes went overboard. They did to the tribe of Benjamin as they were doing to all the Canaanites in the land as they were coming in during the days of Joshua. Right? Driving out the so-called evil, perverted Canaanites. And you had some Benjamites, those men, that were acting like these Canaan Canaanites. Mm -hmm. So they said, you know, maybe we should take the whole tribe out. You know, <clears throat> maybe a little leaven is leaven the whole lump, and, right? Maybe the whole tribe is maybe uh, uh, deplorable. Who knows? So that's what they do. But a problem 
um, of this extinction is complicated by the fact that the Israelites had taken an oath at Mizpah, where they all got together to assemble this army to take on the tribe of Benjamin. And the oath was, we're not going to give any of our daughters in marriage to any Benjamite man. Okay? So, we're, we're, we're treating them like Canaanites. Okay? Because that's that was, that was what God said. The whole nation was to relate to uh, all the Canaanites of the land that way. You don't give your daughters to them uh, in marriage. You don't take their daughters for your sons in marriage. All right? So you get the picture. We're treating them like they ain't one of us. They're not our kind. But they also kind of feel bad because <laughs> they are Israelites. What are we going to do with these 600 men, uh, these bachelors that we have here? And um, so it looked like they got together. They sat before God. They raised their voices. They wept, wept bitterly. Okay? Um, they, they asked, why should one tribe be missing from Israel today? Because they killed them. <laughs> right. <laughs> Think about it, right? <laughs> they cause a problem, and then they go, this is terrible. We should, we should be without our, a 12th tribe. What are we going to do? We created the problem. Let's fix it. Wait till you find out what they do to fix it. And, uh, and, and they, they have this worship service. They, they do a sacrifices, this burnt offering, and these fellowship offerings. Um, trying to what? Get close to God. Get God's good side. Get God's help. Maybe they realized they went overboard, they created a problem, now they need to solve. We're not told. You can just use your imagination. All the things they're trying to think of now that, you know, have you ever done something you just, you shouldn't have gone so far. You tried to fix something and you like really fixed it. And then you went, I think I just caused more problems for myself and for other people. Trying to fix this. I just, right, I killed a fly with a hammer. You know that, as they say. And then you're going, now I got it, and I got additional problems, problems right now because now I got I was trying to fix this I thought I was fixing it now I've made more problems that I now have to fix <clears throat> well that's what happens here okay verses 8 to 12 something and they said what one is there of the tribes of Israel that came not up to Mizpah to the Lord and behold there came none to the camp from Jabesh Gilead to the assembly for the people were numbered, and behold, there were none of the inhabitants of Jabesh Gilead there. And the congregation sent thither twelve thousand men of the valiants, bravest anyway, and commanded them, saying, Go and smite the inhabitants of Jabesh Gilead with the edge of the sword, with the women and the children. And this is the thing that ye shall do. Ye shall utterly destroy every male and every woman that hath lain with a man. And they found among the inhabitants of Jabesh Gilead four hundred young virgins that had known no man by lying with any male. And they brought them in unto the camp to Shiloh, which is in the land of Canaan. You want me to keep going or not? Um, no, you're good. So, okay. human trafficking. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's like one, one mistake after another. You ever done that? Oh, never. You try to fix something, you, uh, oh, you cause more problems. Never. Well, I gotta fix something. Ah, it causes more problems. Like it. Stop by your head as they say, okay, what? So, in researching their secondary problem, uh, the Israelites, they discovered that nobody from the town of Jabesh Gilead uh, came together. They didn't respond to this, uh, this call for war. Okay? So, get this. As they're trying to find out how to help repopulate the tribe of Benjamin that they killed, they pretty much say, let's, let's ask around to see if any of our people didn't come with us to kill off the Benjamites. And let's kill them. Are you tracking? That's what they did. Okay. They, they, right? Okay. So... They're trying to figure out how to repopulate the tribe of Benjamin. And somehow, as they're thinking about that, somebody gets the idea, well, you know, in the meantime, let's, let's find out who else we could kill as we're trying to uh, fix this. 
And, um, and so what they remembered was that back during the roll call, when they were assembling their armies from the 11 tribes at Mizpah, they were, you know, calling out for all the Israelites from the areas, you know, how about, you know, do we have a soldier from here? How about from here? And how about Yabesh Gilead? And Yabesh Gilead! What is anybody? No, nobody here! You know, 10,000, nothing. Silence. Okay. Write it down. Okay. Make notice. Nobody from Yabesh Gilead is here. Okay? So that they do. That was one of the regions allotted to the tribe of Manasseh. Okay, this is now the tribe of Manasseh they're going to pick on. So they send how many soldiers? 12,000 12, valiant, um, effective killers. These are really good soldiers. They send 12,000 to go in to this area and do what? Kill, them. Kill all the men and the women who've been married and the children. Kill everybody, but spare the virgins. Literally, the, the girls who are of marrying age. Little girls, little children, you know, I mean, little toddlers, kill the female. But any, any female that's marrying age, yeah, let's hang on to them. Are you catching this? They just wiped out another tribe. They're, they're at, least at least part of a tribe. Yeah, you think, and, and that's their fix? And they're I mean, they're just thinking, I mean, what? And they're enslaving. Yeah, I mean, uh, it's so hard to wrap my, my head around this. What made them think God would be cool with that? Right, <laughs> right, you think so? <laughs> they're, they're realizing they went overboard. So let's do only to do it again. Yeah. yeah. But you've done that and I've done that. And we know people who do that. Mm -hmm. And there's like this cycle we can't get out of. And you know, it's like, oh my gosh, I'm doing this again. You're doing this again. Okay, so here they're doing it. And... <laughs> Are they still considered a tribe if there's only the women left? Well, that's what... <laughs> there, there's, there's still a tribe, but... Um, in this area, and, and this good question, because that's that's where we're going to go here. There, there's, hang on to that, because it's going to be answered. 400 are found, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, and they, what do they do with them? Well, Verses the 13 to 18, somebody. Then the whole assembly sank an offer of peace to the Benjamites at the rock of Rimen. So the Benjamites returned at the same, at that time, and were given the women of the Jabesh Gilead who had been spared. But there was not enough for all of them. The people grieved for Benjamin because the Lord had made a gap in the tribes of Israel. And the elders from the assembly said, With the women of Benjamin destroyed, how shall we provide wives for the men who are left? The Benjamite survivors must have heirs, they said, so the tribe of Israel, so that a tribe of Israel will not be wiped out. We cannot give them our daughters as wives, since we Israelites have taken this oath. Cursed be anyone who gives a wife to a Benjamite. But look, there is an animal. Stop right there. Okay, so, <laughs> did you catch that? Yeah. Amazing what's in here. <laughs> the Lord did it. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So, this group of Israelites, they sent 600, they sent to the 600 surviving Benjamite men, the bachelors, a formal peace offering, let's say. Uh, and it implies this restoration of this covenant. You know, we, we still want you part of the fam, okay? And, and, and this, is, this is how we're going we're, we're gonna to show you that, that we mean well. We, we still want to be family. And, and these bachelors accept the peace offer, and they're granted 400 virgins from Yabesh Gilead, uh, but the grief continues because what? They're short. They're short 200. There's 200 Benjamites still without wives. But, wait, the Israelites, okay, they say in this to themselves, but, oh gosh, so how are we going to fix this? <laughs> okay, so, you know, we thought, we thought we fixed it, uh, we're still coming up short. Okay, 
So um, here's our problem, though. Remember, guys, we swore that we would not give our daughters to any of these Benjamite men. Now, all they have to do is go back on that. Right. But they're too proud for some reason. They're just, well, we know, we're not, they made that vow. That's um, the first time. But, okay, but, but, <laughs> wait. Weren't the 400 women from Yabesh Gilead Israelites? Yeah. Yeah. Poor but, frightened girls. Okay, okay, right, right, right. So, wait. Verse 8 tells us that. Mm -hmm. Okay? The, 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 these are, this is an Israelite clan. Mm -hmm. But you see, there, there's a loophole that was created when the men of Yabesh Gilead were killed. Because now there's no fathers to enforce the vow. No, you, so these women, you might say, are as valuable as slaves. Um, they're now the property of the men, the rest of the men of the nation, to give away as wives to whoever they choose. Does it make sense? Yeah. Did I say that right? Well, okay. I mean, so, I understand it, but it still doesn't make sense. Right, okay, yeah. So... <laughs> We just we killed all the owners of women off. The fathers and the husbands, the men. Now there's just these 400 virgins. Well, we're able to give them away because they're not our daughters. <laughs> they were somebody else's daughters, but we killed them. So now they're our property. And so we're not guilty of breaking our own vow that we wouldn't give our daughters away to these Benjamite batches. We're giving somebody else's daughters away. They're Israelites, but they're, we're not personally guilty for it. See the loophole? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Double standards there, huh? Uh huh. Okay. So. <laughs> but they're short 200. Uh huh. For now. And they're going, but what do we do about the poor Benjamite bachelors, the 200 of them, verses 19 to 24? She somebody? Just killed them. <laughs> then they said, in fact, there is a yearly feast. Of the land of Shiloh, Sh which is north of Bethel, on the east side of the highway that goes up from Bethel to Shechem, and south of Le Le what is that word is. Um, therefore, they instructed the children of Benjamin, saying, "Go lie in wait in the vineyards, and watch and just when the daughters of Shil Shiloh come out and perform their dances." Then cover, come out from the vineyards, vineyards, and every man catch a wife for himself, and the daughters of Shiloh. Then go to the land of Benjamin. Then it shall be when their fathers or their brothers come to us to complain. Then we will say to them, Be kind to them for our sakes, because we did not take a wife from any of them in the war, for it is not as though... You have given the women to them at this time, making yourselves guilty of your oath. And the children of Benjamin did so as they took each took enough wives for their number from the house who danced, whom they could not, or from those who danced, sorry, whom they caught. Then they went and returned to their inheritance, and they rebuilt the cities and dwelt in them. Okay. So they conceived this plan based on a loophole in their oath, which they suggested to the Benjamite men. And the oath said that the Israelites, again, you know, we, we said we could not give our daughters to the Benjamites, but it didn't say anything about their daughters being taken. So if we can take some of our kin's daughters, then their fathers won't be guilty of giving them because we took them. You think that'll fly? And that's their plan. Y'all trapped him with this? Okay. So, so conveniently, it just so happens that the girls of nearby Shiloh um, are going to be participating soon in this local harvest festival of the Lord, it says, of Yahweh. Uh, they, they come out, and I guess during this annual thing, right? They said, oh, they all come out. We all know this. So they come out, they dance, and you know, all the virgins come out, and they dance, right? And, um, and it's in Shiloh. Now, where's Shiloh? You know what tribe is in Shiloh? Or what tribe Shiloh is within? Ephraim's territory. Okay. 
So let's take from that tribe. Wouldn't you hate to be in this? You, I mean, you'd be looking over your shoulder all the time if you lived back then. You know, which one of my family members is going to turn on me this time? Um, are they going to kill me? Are they going to take my daughter? What are they going to do this time? Huh? I don't seem very worried about giving over their daughters. Content. Well, daughters aren't family members. Nothing. Women are nothing. It's not a big deal. It's not a big deal. It's like the mob. They're, the they're mafia. Probably. The family. But if we got to kill you, we got to mm -hmm. kill you. It just seems you know? like such a way of life. Mm -hmm. yeah. I mean, there was always. I mean, they never, that's just the way it was. they never said anything about the guy uh, that lodged the, the, the original wife. The, the guy with the con concubine. Right. And sure, they threw the concubine out there. But he just as happily threw his daughters to him too. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And you don't, you didn't even hear hear about that after that. Yeah. You haven't said a word about yeah. that. I don't yeah, I don't I don't think the daughter was thrown out. I think the daughter got to stay. They just threw the guy's concubine out. But he offered, yeah, you got my daughter. Yeah. Right? You got my daughter and this guy's yeah. concubine. I mean, because the value of women was pretty much worth, you know, the cattle, the slave. Okay, and that's what we're getting. So, um, just in this chapter 21, look at the sins they committed. Oh, it's gnarly. I, I mean, it's like unreal. You, you stop and you think, these were real people that really did this stuff, and yet God loves them to the end of the world. Oh. <laughs> They're the apple oh. of his eye, and you think. All you have to be is sorry. Right. Uh, well, that's because of his goodness, not ours, that's for sure. Well, mm -hmm. no, I'm being flippant. Yeah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, their plan was to the Benjamite men, these remaining 200, and this is what was inferred. Hey, listen, guys, this is what we're going to do for you. We found a bunch of women, okay, a bunch of virgins that yours for the taking. But this is what you're going to do. Because they're going to come out and do this dance thing. You hide in the bushes. This is their plan. Hide in the bushes. Hide in the vineyards. Um, until the festivities you know, are in progress. And then each of you rush out from your hiding place. Grab a girl. And then go back home to Benjamin. You know, the tribe of, of Benjamin in your land. And hey. 600 of them. Uh, it'll be no, 200. No, 200. 200. 400 men already have their wives. Remember that one, the ones that, you know, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So we, got, we just got 200 left. So um, the Israelites, they explained the situation to the men of Shiloh, who were going to be all bent out of shape going, Who are these guys taking our girls? Right? Well, they explained, well, actually, we're, we're innocent. And you're innocent. See, we've arranged this in such a way without your knowledge or permission, but we were looking out for you guys. You're not, is this great? You're not guilty of breaking that vow. And we're not, and you're not. So actually, don't get upset. We did yeah. you a favor. Um, we just had these guys come take your girls during the festival uh, because, remember, our vow was we can't give. Our own daughters. And, hey, sound, sounds good, aren't we smart? Uh, so, <laughs> so the extinction of the tribe of Benjamin is averted. That's the idea. And the Benjamites then would rebuild the towns, they'd settle in them, and the Israelites go home. Um, so, there was no law. Here, here's the thing. They did exactly what they wanted. Now, now, think about this. The way they went about this was terrible. Mm -hmm. They probably never even told the women about it. Oh, uh, you know, eventually I'm sure they, you hope they heard. Well, why are they, they why were they stolen they from their parents and their families to begin to destroy them? And nobody cared and came to yeah. them. Right. Um, but the idea is that the tribe of Benjamin was saved from extinction. Now, in the, in the bigger picture, a tribe is saved from extinction. Yeah. You know, what did it take to get there? Well, it was their sin in the beginning. You know, would there, yeah, would, would there have been a better way to fix it? 
Yeah, of course. I mean, number one, they didn't need to kill all the Benjamites. Right. Just, just the men they were looking for. But the problem is the tribe of Benjamin wouldn't surrender those guys. Remember that? Mm -hmm. Because their thing was, oh, if you you got to go through us if you want to get to them. But why? Why would you Why would you be, why would you, I mean, that's something about, it, the, so here we go, big picture. Why would the tribe of Benjamin be in a place where they go, oh, we will protect these yeah. lawless, these guys. Who just did this, raped this woman oh, um, all night long until she was dead. Mm -hmm. We're going to protect that mm -hmm. behavior. Because um, and we'll go to war over it. Now, are you, don't try with me. Can you imagine a country that gets to the place where it is ready to riot and kill, make death threats, do whatever is needed to protect... Sexual deviance. Yes. Are you talking yes. about America? <laughs> wow. Oh, I wasn't thinking about America. Oh, yeah, well, just bring it up. Look at America. <laughs> okay. Can a culture get there? So we That's look at this true. and go, oh my gosh, how terrible. And then, yeah. we're just oh wait, I'm there. in America. Yeah. And, and what's in our... Just about yeah. there. Also, yeah. the men mm -hmm. that they were protecting were the lords of the city. Okay, so they're protecting their government, their deep state. Did they say that? Yep. Their they're deep state? Yeah. Why would you use right. that term? <laughs> and how did they know some of them weren't amongst the 600 that was still alive? You know, because they didn't kill them. So some of them might have been guilty and lived to tell about it. Mm -hmm. They're all guilty. Probably most of them. Yeah. Well, here's, here's what's weird. Lo and behold. Because the tribe of Benjamin did not go extinct, can anybody tell me who the first king of Israel was? Saul. Where did Saul come from? Ephraim. Or Benjamin? He's no. from the tribe of Benjamin yeah, that was just saved from extinction. What town was he from? Where did they find him? Shiloh. Yabesh Gilead. Yeah, really. Yeah. Mm -hmm. King Saul. God's grace. Yeah. God's grace. Oh, no, and here's what's interesting. When we turn the page after Ruth, you get to 1 Samuel. And we're now going to turn to Ruth in just a moment. But mm -hmm. Amazing. You've got the whole nation looking for a king. Yeah. And you know what's interesting? Wouldn't it be like God to give them a king from the tribe? They almost wiped out. Yeah. And that king, God warns him about. And that king actually he starts good, then goes wacko, yeah. and actually becomes a coward, doesn't lead against Goliath. Then he actually leads, he starts leading the country astray. And God has to replace him. But isn't it interesting? The first king, the first king. Of the of the twelve tribes of the of the combined United States of Israel comes from this tribe. Almost like I'm going to let one of these guys rule over you that you almost wiped out. It's like you know, there's a bit of your just desserts in that. It's very interesting. He's not even that good of a king. And he came from where did you say Jabesh? Yeah, the best Gilead, and, and you'll, you'll just say Gilead. Okay. But it's doesn't need the hyphen, the hyphenation. Same, same place. Now, Judges ends verse twenty-five with this. What? In those days, yeah. Israel had no king. Mm -hmm. Everybody did as they saw fit. Okay. Nice. You catch this? Said, In those days, again, we we've read this four or five times already. In the final chapters of Judges. In those days there was no king, uh, and all the people did what was right in their own eyes. <laughs> and ironically, you turn the pages of the first Samuel, well, there's got to be a king that comes from this very place, and they try, the whole nation tried to wipe out. You know, this is just wild. And, um... It's what Minnesota wants to do, and several <laughs> other places. Yeah. Yeah. Go on, Matt. No, it's just... It's anarchy. I yeah, mean, it is. They're just... Total anarchy. Yeah. Um, it's a 
communist way of yeah. getting rid of authority. Right. There's yeah, no that's... law. There's no authority. Right. Everybody's going to do exactly what they see fit. And where I see Minnesota going, where I see Minneapolis going, well, is Sharia law. Yeah. That, that's right. That's where we step in. I was just talking about. The mayor is a coward. He won't stand yeah. up to these people. And, and you know, to disband the police department, he should be hiring thousands more uh, police. Listen, I just had Bill Federer on the radio today. Um, Unbelievable. And I'll, we'll post it, but uh, phenomenal. If you all know Bill Federer. Mm -hmm. uh, but he said that very thing. And he, he says this, that's what's that's yeah. where we'll step in. Yeah. When the cops are gone, it is going to be yeah. Sharia law will come in. Sure. It's, and it's, and I mean this is so what? bizarre. Yeah. yeah. But I mean, we, we are we are seeing this. I mean, listen. The Book of Judges, that final statement right there. It, it's call it a restatement of human failure concerning the moral and the social anarchy mm -hmm. of that period, mm -hmm. when there is no central authority. You know, mm -hmm. that should be, for the most part, a, at least a good, decent authority, right? Mm -hmm. um, so everybody does as they wish. Yeah. Well, that's what our anarchy is. That, that's what mm -hmm. Antifa wants, and, and that yes. is going to, mm -hmm. the, the whole idea, mm -hmm. I mean, it's going to lead to, it could lead to the end of America as we know, but I don't know how many people saw that thing, Tony, that you sent out uh, from the Archbishop mm -hmm. Carlos Figano. Uh, Figano. Yeah, yeah, Figano. Okay, you gotta read it. Mm -hmm. I've, I've been, I've been sending it to people. Um, I and uh, I think he, he posted it on our Facebook page. But I swear, God dictated that letter yeah. to this guy, and he sent it to President Trump on Sunday. You gotta read it. Really? Mm -hmm. uh, I think he nailed it. It's, yeah. it's uh, from a biblical perspective. He says right where we are, yeah. the children of darkness and the children, the children of, light. of light. Oh boy, the showdown. It's just, it's just outstanding. Mm -hmm. And it's not alarmist. No. Um, I think you'll like it. But Eric said he's heard on the news that there was the, even the crazies went to our city council meeting on Monday and asked for the police department to be defunded. Oh, oh. Yeah. Yeah. no! Yeah. Um, yeah. It's, it's just, yeah, you know, we're a, we're a republic, not a democracy. That's right. And the laws of our republic will support what. Minnesota I don't know what does. was said, but I know what I would have done. Yeah, that's um, right. That is that is the problem. It's, that's. I told you. Well, yeah. all we can do is pray, yeah. because lady. God can change everybody's plans. Well, you sure hope so. And oh, I tell you, it, but, but if he doesn't, I mean, you know, don't forget often God, God, God lets you yeah. reap what you sow. Yeah, and that's... Uh, God doesn't always, you know, avert the consequences. And so, yeah. you know, <laughs> we, we, we get who we voted for in office. Like, you know, I'll repeat this, but, you know, when Obama was, uh, was, was in office, mm -hmm. you know, some Christians, uh, a little, little too quickly, a little almost too trite, you know, said, well, you know, God's sovereign and God gave us Obama. And I go... I think, <laughs> no, I think we gave ourselves Obama, yeah. Yeah. and God didn't stop it. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, because, right. you know, we have a government that we get what we vote for. God yeah. did not vote. He doesn't vote on earth. He, what ballot box did he go in? Where was that on the news? Mm -hmm. We vote, yeah. and we get what we vote for. And that's why it is so important. Are you to say something? Yes. Um, so, Linda said, you know, uh, all we can do is pray. Mm -hmm. uh, that's not the only thing we can do, well, though. I we, know that. Yeah. Mean. We we got to be present. We got to vote and we got to we, we, we got to be proactive we, we, in this. Yeah. There and that's another thing, you know. Yeah. We, Pray for direction. That's for sure. yeah. We we we'll see the writing there. on the wall, and yeah. so yeah. you know, praying for discernment, praying for the opportunity to speak, and when we have the opportunity to speak, yeah. speak boldly. Yeah, absolutely. You know, without shame. Yeah. See what happens at one point if you ever if you study past overthrows. Mm -hmm. Overthrows. Yeah. Wow, okay. what a icky word. When there's a civil up, up, uprising, when there's this unrest, what happens is that there's a critical mass that is necessary to push it over the edge to actually lead to it. Let's just say it just doesn't stop until um, there is such a, um, a, a threatening, um, a literally breaking into the doors, mm -hmm. picking up on your shoulders the people you want out of office and carrying them out. Um, uh, there is the threat, there is the, the pressure where... Some leaders just finally give in because it looks like the whole country's turn on them and they're not going to stay in office and they will literally vacate office. That happens in governments. That's happened throughout uh, history. And I'm looking at what's happening. I'm thinking there's a momentum that so far it's not stopping. What just happened in Seattle? You saw mm -hmm. what happened in Seattle, mm -hmm. right? 
okay, uh, this Antifa group, they just took a 40, they're the law, in six blocks, I think six blocks, and they took over a police station. And they just brought a bunch of porta potties in. Yeah, that's, they're going to work. This is our headquarters. And nobody, the police aren't going in there to kick them out. Yeah. Right. Okay, here's what I'm talking about. At one point, I mean, it happened in the Middle East in many countries. Obama called for it. He asked for, he called for the youth to rise up and overthrow the yep. moderate Muslim leaders yeah, yeah. who were replaced with Orthodox Muslim leaders. Mm -hmm. Well, he tried that in St. Louis, too. Oh, yeah. Right. Ferguson. Yeah, yeah. He did that. Yeah. Um, yeah. He actually yeah. did that. Yeah. A lady that I read a very long article on a, by an author who is from Poland. Mm -hmm. She escaped the communist revolution too. in Poland, uh -huh. and she was warned in this letter. She was warning us that if we look at the history of what they went through, mm -hmm. that's what we're going through now. Mm -hmm. And she even went as far as to tell the readers of this article that. If you remember the Kristallnacht mm -hmm. in Germany, Businesses. when the Nazis came in and destroyed all the yeah. all the synagogues, mm -hmm. and blamed it on the that's Jews. what they were doing in Minneapolis over this mm -hmm. last ten days. That's our Kristallnacht, mm -hmm. and we need to rise up. We need we do. to pay attention. We do. I, I tell you, I, I, I will post this thing with the Federal as fast as I can. Mm -hmm. I got to do a little more editing, but um, <clears throat> you, you want to hear what he has to say because mm -hmm. he goes over the. Uh, he goes, he goes over some American history that I think most of us don't know. I didn't know, and it, it is scary. And um, he, I think, he describes very well what is happening today. Um, he he pulls in what happened during the French Godless Revolution, um, and again, what's happening today smacks with what happened then. And it's the getting rid of law enforcement. It's yep. getting rid of the church. I mean, yeah, church, you get rid of authority, mm -hmm. law, mm -hmm. spiritual compass, mm -hmm. and you get to whitewash, right, erase the chalkboard, start all over again. Mm -hmm. That's what's happened. That's and who's behind all this mm -hmm. knows exactly what they're doing. Mm -hmm. And he goes, he said, it's that same thing that has happened in every communist revolution mm -hmm. um, that uh, Russia, China, Germany, they they like took their their plans actually from what happened in France, France's revolution. That was the blueprint for what they did. It works. It worked for France. It worked for them. Mm -hmm. And the problem is, once they're in power, you can be centuries mm -hmm. before there could be a, a critical mass of those sick and tired of losing their freedoms and of being hunted down, mm -hmm. enslaved, to finally even somehow have the power and the weaponry and the organization mm -hmm. and the guts and the backbone mm -hmm. and the will to stand up and to fight for their freedoms. Now listen, we had an American Revolution. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We did it. We did it yeah. once. Mm -hmm. We'll have to do it again. Yeah, but it won't will. be the whole country against Britain. It'll be the country against itself. Right. But that's well, for another China time. China had Taiwan. 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 Mm -hmm. China. China. Just come in there and took nation. all their liberties and everything. They weren't supposed oh, yeah. to do it for what, 20 years? Oh, or yeah, years? all kinds. Oh, yeah. There's, there's, there's trouble. There's and trouble they there. used water cannons and everything else on those people. It's rough. Yeah, and, that, so and that's a big problem. Prepared. You prepared. Know? Well, yeah, and you don't want the wrong person over the military. No. Mm because -hmm. mm -hmm. you, you don't want the military to be turned against the citizenry. But you don't have to fear that if your military are patriots. Right. So what's, what, what composes our military today? I, I still believe that the majority are patriots that would not turn on the American people. You pray that's the case. I do too. But so um, we better pray that Trump gets in another four years. Well, here, but watch here. Here, let me say this because that's why you go there. Yeah. I, I almost want to say. Uh, do I say this to you? Go for it. Uh, sure. Anybody who's, who's going to watch this, take this how you want it. But I, I think there is a possibility. I'm not guaranteeing anything. I think there's a strong possibility we will see civil type wars, yeah. small. Lowercase w in various pockets. Um, if Trump wins or doesn't win, if he wins, you remember when he won in 2016? Yeah. He, he, Antifa. That's when we were introduced to Antifa. Yeah. Yep. And they're kicking down the glass. They're busting in the, the businesses. Yep. They were rioting. And, okay. There was. I mean, remember the all the women with the uterus hats, you know, um, you know, thousands of them, and Hollywood elites out there, uh, you know, we hate this guy, and, you know, yeah. I mean, you know, 
yeah. they were calling for his his removal as soon as he, he got out and they haven't stopped. So what would it be like after all this fuel and energy and look what we could do and everybody who's who actually believes in the cause of whatever they're doing feels like, you know, we could do especially when there's a paycheck behind it, because all the thugs as yeah. as we know they they're getting a paycheck, how much an hour, plus we'll pay your bail. So somebody has paid for an army. Do you understand? Yeah. An army has been paid for. Yeah. Um, they're and they and they're becoming days. more and more violent and you know weaponized and just saying who knows what's going to happen in 2020 you know uh, <laughs> at the, the election year that is uh, if Trump gets in watch it really explode well what will that lead to and who will stop it because if all the police officers you know and all, all the police uh, uh, and sheriffs, all the law enforcement around the country are feeling everybody hates us and, and we've been so bad and, and we're all wearing well, the color of shame tied. and we should all, yeah, yeah you know, quit and shut down. Okay, we'll, we'll, we'll do what you're all saying because, yeah. you know, it's the republic and you don't want us to be law enforcement anymore. Oh. Okay, we'll, we'll look for something else to do. And also you give the policing over to gangs? To, the, to Antifa? Mm -hmm. Who's going to be, who's? Mm -hmm. Well, the you white supremacists see are rising up. Did you see that? Now, oh, I'm not on that oh, radical side, oh, yeah. but the white supremacists yeah, are up. rising up, yeah. and no, no. I don't agree with their radical no, moves either, but somebody has got to stop this. Well, but what? But Linda, that's what I'm saying. Here, the thing is, either it all caves in, and nobody has the will to, to fight for America as we know it, mm -hmm. and say, what, you guys are nuts! Mm -hmm. No, you're not going to shut down our law enforcement. You're not going to do. You're not going to take over. You're not going to be. You know, you're you're actually a bunch of spoiled, uneducated, you know, brainwashed and dumb rats. I mean, I didn't say it right. That's what it is, right? So, am I going too far? No. Keep going. So here's the deal. Um, watch I couldn't viral. sleep last night. Okay, so, I was thinking about this. Um, if Sorry if he doesn't win, friend. oh God help us. If he doesn't. Oh, sorry, but what's going to happen? Oh. Tony, wasn't the conversation you and I had? Was Hillary. it you and me? Hillary. Somebody yeah. I talked to you, know, but if 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 Biden wins, oh. I think if Trump doesn't win, it's going to be quiet. Things are going to kind of go for a little quiet. while. For a yeah, while, for a people while. Say, See, it was all Trump's fault. Mm -hmm. Right. Mm -hmm. But then, mm -hmm. when when that value system mm -hmm. starts being imposed on us, mm -hmm. uh, then what? Mm -hmm. Because mm -hmm. they will get, they will clamp down, mm -hmm. you wouldn't believe how they will clamp down on your freedoms, mm -hmm. the church, yeah. blah, 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 blah. I mean, mm -hmm. they want to, I mean, Biden goes, I'm going to put, who is the presidential candidate down in Texas? He's going to be over, what was he going to be? Secretary of State, whatever. He wants to take all the guns away. You know, he literally, yeah. he, he'll, he'll do the job. Of, we're going to get, we're going to say, I'm going to take your AR. Remember that guy? Bingo. Yeah. Bingo. Yeah. Work. Okay? Yeah. Is it as simple as defunding the police departments and then no. they liquefy? No. I, I, I think, you know, that, that's... There are federal you, 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 you take the yeah. you, you take the money away. Right. Pretty much what you're saying, once we cut off your... I mean, you got another, you got no operational capital, so, yeah, we've just shut you down. I mean... And give it to all the... And, 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 and who, and who does that? Well, the mayor, right. I mean, right. you, city council... That's what they the say. governors can call out the National Guard to okay. right. yeah, keep well, they can but men can come into the country. And that's bad. Oh, so the United don't. Nations oh, could have oh, come oh, in. Mm -hmm. Military try. police, yeah. all that. So it's like, I mean, um, they've got federal and state laws that mm -hmm. say there has to be a police department or a law enforcement agency Constable in area. all of these places. It's not just, oh, well, we want a cop department, so we're going to have them. It's by law. Well, they can okay. change that too. Did you but see the big signs that yeah. say has more big signs that say we're going to change the constitution? Oh, they'll never get that. Done. Oh, Julie, don't count on it. I do. The sheriff has more has the most authority in any in any county. Yes, yes. he does. Mm -hmm. And luckily, the sheriff is elected. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. It's as simple as defining. Hopefully, the, the people will say, "No way, you can't take our sheriff." So yeah, they got the big, greatest jurisdiction and over the yeah. police. So, well, tell sure. Christy Noem next time you see her, hire all those police pe people. That from other states. Need, yeah, bring them to South Dakota. Dakota. We welcome them. Yeah. You see, fund the police and give the money to their authoritarian social what, programs. What, what, that's yeah, what that's, they want to yeah, do. That's what they say. I have a, 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 
I, I didn't have the conversation myself, but um, I know one of the deputies, and he told his mother-in-law, who's my good friend, he said, we're spending most of our time, this was last week, we're spending most of our time protecting the, the protesters from the Trump supporters. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Really? From yes. the Trump supporters? Yes. Yeah. That was where? Rapid City. Okay. Yeah. That's oh, right. come on. Yeah. We, we, haven't we haven't even got started right. yet. I know. I know. I think when he real when he didn't realize where they were just some redneck cowboys with flags on, flags their, on their trucks. With flags right. on their trucks. And they were just making it show. They were they just were letting them know, we're not going to put up with this. Well, they're making as much yeah. noise as yeah. the yeah. Good. 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 Take that out. Yeah. 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 And, and that's the thing, is like, um, as you know, the Archbishop wrote, the, the, the people who right now are making all the noise, they're actually the minority. They actually yes. are the minority. Um, but they're but so they're loud, squeaky wheels, wheels. so... That's scary, nice. you know. Yeah. Um, and, and I remember, don't forget, I, I can't remember the, the passages from, but God, God warns when, when, a, when a country yes. has lost um, its spiritual compass, yes. he, he names certain things that will happen. He, he says pretty much, I mean, oh, yeah. one of the things is, he says, children will rule over you. Nehemiah. You know what he's talking true. about? Mm -hmm. This. Mm -hmm. It literally means it's, it's the adolescent, mm -hmm. um, spoiled... Yeah. Um, entitled, entitled. They just they got the energy and the passion. They will out email you, out work you to have the nation they want. And the rest of us were going. We've enjoyed the freedoms, and we're not used to fighting. And we're kind of what? what they don't what? even we have to know fight. This will pass. And before you know it, they're breaking in and taking over your police mm -hmm. station. And all of a sudden, now you know Seattle's now. They don't even know what they want. I kept hearing. No, they don't. They're I just, kept they're, hearing they're during they're those demonstrations. Never, never. We just want to be heard. Yeah. I'm. I'm like. I heard that too. Why didn't somebody say? What do you want to say? Yeah. What yeah. Do you want to say? Right. Yeah. And they'll say what the same thing. Want? White silence is violence. Yeah. What else do you want to say? Do you listen well, to if you're white, you say something that you get the violence from. Them. Well, and that's the thing. That's and that's where oh boy, uh, what the archbishop wrote. And um, here, let me uh, read this real quick. Can I, can I just please do? Let me, let me end with something here. This isn't from the Archbishop, but this was in uh, National Review. Today, yesterday, the social justice left is pioneering a new tactic for shutting down dissent and amplifying groupthink. If you follow the, the news in recent weeks, you'll have noticed that the left's social justice brigades have not cooled in their passion for banishing speech with which they disagree. But these days have also revealed a more dangerous tactic, conscript, conscripting speech by means of social pressure. Mm -hmm. Instead of enforcing strict silence, progressives aim to craft a public square in which we are all obligated to echo their views. Mm -hmm. It is abundantly clear that social justice activists and increasingly mainstream left-wing Americans do not intend to relent in wielding the cultural power of rage mobs to erase all trace of contrary opinions. Consider, you know, and then, then there's examples. Mm -hmm. yeah. But you go, that's well said. Mm -hmm. It's like, that's what it is. Um, I mean, they really want to fight. Um, yeah. And they, they, they they're just, yeah. even if they don't, they can't even fully articulate what they're fighting for, yeah. mm -hmm. I mean, which is probably the scariest thing. They're all for blood. <laughs> then you, you got people you who are, they're just going to do the dirty work for somebody who yeah. already knows what they've got in mind. And we, we, we already know what that is. We've talked about that. But, you know, they don't know. They're, they're pawns yeah, for is. the most part. Just a so, global agenda. Right. I, I have a question see. for you because I agree with this, and yet I watched the video. Uh, the two riot police that, well, one of them pushed the 75 year old oh, yeah. man, mm -hmm. and President Trump said uh, that he fell true. harder than he was pushed and that it was a setup mm -hmm. because he was trying to record the police scanners even mm -hmm. though he couldn't do it on his cell phone. 
But isn't it ironic there's always somebody there to take a picture of that? Mm -hmm. yeah. So, I have to agree. Yeah, yeah, but I... What, what's he doing? He's supposed to be a peace af advocate. What is he doing confronting riot police? First and, and, of all. And here's the... And, you know, given, again... All you see is you just see the moment just before that, he's pushed. Right. And, it's called and, and by, by yeah, what, it was. what you see, I agree with it you. just looks like that was unfair, please. Mm -hmm. And, you know, just looking at that, if that's mm -hmm. all I'm given, yeah, that, that was unnecessary, mm -hmm. uh, you know, roughness. And, you know, okay, don't know anything else besides that. I wish that didn't happen. But it is interesting. Why are those things always caught up? Yeah. And, and Why what is, is he doing? Perfect camera he knows it's he's a right. He's, he's, he's a. He's a peace advocate, yeah. so, supposedly. But so he knows what riot police do. Riot police are like the Gestapo that come in yeah, and get rid now. of these yeah. people. So what's he doing? Wearing a Trump hat. Yeah, going going, going after the riot police. I mean, he got right up in their face. You said he wore a Trump hat? From what I've seen, yes, it looked like it was a Trump hat. It did. He I've also that. seen reports. Because he ain't a Trump guy. <laughs> Where they have investigated him, his finances show he supports Antifa, mm -hmm. and actually what he was had in his hands was not to record, uh -huh. but it was to pick up the channels mm -hmm. so that they could hear what the police were doing and where they were at. Oh, the right, oh yeah. Like he had a, yeah. uh, you know, a so you know, he had a scanner in there. You no, know he, oh, it's like he had a um, camera. Uh, no, so, uh, that, that mic. Um, like a parabolic mic, like yeah. a. Mm -hmm. That's what it looked like to me. It's small. Yeah, so that's what that's what I thought it was. You know, we're this only going to see what the individual who's editing oh, yeah. the camera oh, wants us to see. That's right. And that's what you. That's what you always. That's, right. yeah. that's why you get, sure. you I get what they today, wanted. Everybody needs to have. the cause effect to the police that pushed phone the phone instantly. Yeah. yeah. Everything. Yeah. Astonished, surprised that. This had happened with that push, you know, like we was, it, was it that hard of a push? Because they kind of stopped and should we help him? Should we? And then kind of reform. Well, the thing when it comes down to the bare bones about this whole mess the United States is in, God is still in control, still and sovereign. He's allowing so much of this to happen. So. There again, Second Chronicles seven fourteen. If my people, who are called by my name, will humble themselves and pray and seek my face, then God will forgive us of our sins. He puts that first, and then heal our land. We we can do a lot. We can say all we want, but we're not going to change it unless we get on our knees. Yeah. Plain and simple. Yeah. Yeah. And you know. Um, uh, you talk about how the, how, the, how the media frames certain things. Yeah. Uh, you know, I forget how many black people have been killed yeah. by the rioters. Yeah. Um, think of all the damage they have caused. You, now, the media, the mainstream liberal media, pretty much goes, this is what we get, everybody. This is what we deserve because we're a racist, you know, oh, yeah. whatever, Republican-run, mm -hmm. you know, uh, blah, 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 country. That's it. Really? Okay. Yeah. And then instead of uh, focusing, because you got to watch Fox News or something to, to see how many black people were killed in the riots. Mm -hmm. um, but the mainstream progressive media will show you like that guy. And all of a sudden they, they loop it. Mm -hmm. And that's what they do. It's the loop, right? Mm -hmm. And they show it to you, show it to you, to just get you to look, see, it's another reason to tell you, see, police brutality. The My police control. should be defunded. The crowds, the writers are right. Mm -hmm. These are American, mm -hmm. uh, American media. Mm -hmm. No. No. Yeah. Um, you know what I'm <laughs> yeah. They're progressive communists who are American media, yeah. trying to get you to, to just look at one thing and, and just kind of go to hip hypnosis and oh, believe yeah. it and oh, read the spin. Yeah. And and I mean it's amazing how many people mm -hmm. right today who are just not mm -hmm. really thinking enough that. Wow, do you see? It's true. This is bad. I mean, the cops are, I mean, uh, I mean, the, lack, uh, the just, lack of the media reporting any of the black violence. The truth. Exactly. And yeah. what was it, 20, you know, 20, 21 black men were killed in this last week in Chicago, in Chicago. black on black. Yeah, the media didn't talk about that. Because that, that's, that doesn't feed the narrative. But well, doesn't it make that. you wonder, 
What would have what would have been the outcome if it would have been a black police officer with his knee on a white man's neck? None of this would have even ever happened. But now because George Floyd was black, did you see the funeral? Oh my God! Yeah, that you what, which have which day? You must have yeah. crossed the city of Minneapolis. Oh. And he was heralded as a saint, and, and, and chances are y'all got his criminal record, y'all see it? It's pretty gnarly. I mean, you go, he was no saint. Oh, well, they but act they, like the he narrative. was a saint, they don't they? They weren't funerals. They were political Oh, yeah. The cherry juice and... See, oh, it yeah. just makes that's me so infuriated. I mean, it's sad he shouldn't have been killed. Yeah, I mean, no, the knee on the wrong injustice. jugular, <laughs> not good, oh, yeah. terrible, horrific, that's yeah. terrible. But again, yeah. it, they're, they're, they're weaponizing his story, yeah. right? Yeah. They're just focusing on that. And notice, mm -hmm. they don't say what Candace Owens has shared. Mm -hmm. They're not saying. Uh, the progressive media has not once said, here's his track record, right, I mean, here's right. his criminal record. Oh, I've heard how many times he went to jail, 10 months here, 10 months, yeah. 10 months. Um, the armed robbery, I mean, he was, yeah. he's been brutal, mm -hmm. violent. Put a gun, uh, put a gun to a pregnant woman. woman's Did tummy and his five really? of his, mm -hmm. his friends you know, ransacks her house. Watched, you go, he went I to watched. jail five you know, years for that. Five years, yeah. I watch Why did that come all the time and I never heard any of that. I didn't it's either. On Fox. I didn't either. Watch I've Candace Owen. Listen to Candace Owen. I'm Candace sorry. Fox has had it every day here. I know I about the guns. If I had it, I'm going to be on Fox. Oh, more importantly, and this is, this is what I raised my hand to say. More importantly, you know, if you have cable news, you, you stand a wonderful, you have a, you have a blessed opportunity to get the other narrative, a different narrative. Mm -hmm. If you don't have cable, and all you have yeah. is over the air TV, direct TV, um, and and so then the e news. and then you, there you go, oh, okay. and, <laughs> and then you and then you have your Twitter account and your Facebook account and your Instagram account with all your friends feeding you. That's their that's their communication channel. Yeah. That's their communication channel. That's how, that's how come they can amass thousands of people yeah. within 24 hours at any location that they want to, to do anything that they want them to do because... Yeah. There's a site that is going to change. None of this is going to change no. unless people change. Yeah. That's yeah. right, unless their hearts are yeah. changed. Yeah. Tony, I don't know if you got time to you land a gram that archbishop's thing to everybody. Yes, I can, I can land a gram it out. Sure. Sure. Taylor, I just thank you for... Um, being able to be here tonight and to yes. um, speak on your word freely and yes, and I just pray that you be with our country, Lord, and yes. everything that is going on. We know that you're sovereign, you're in control, and and um, help us to not live in fear but live in yes, faith mm -hmm. and to be um, uh, examples to those around us. And let this be the time that we share who you are with others and lead yes. people to Christ. And Lord, I just pray that you give us a safe ride home. And bless us throughout this week. Amen. 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 Thanks, everybody. Thanks, God. God bless America.